So if we're working with the out-of-the-box families here in Revit, and we have a stacked wall where we have a thicker masonry base with a thinner masonry veneer or something going further up the wall, it's going to look like this, and you don't have the nice chamfer here. So that what we're going to do with this video is we're going to illustrate briefly how to do that. So to do that, first let's look at the stacked wall, because that's what this is, obviously. So I'll look at the stacked wall properties click on it on an instance of it go to the edit type properties or the type properties button edit the structure and we can see what basic wall types we're currently using so this is the basic wall type we need to adjust here okay this generic 16 inch masonry with sill so I'll click OK there and click OK here and we will then adjust that basic wall type or create a new one if you need to okay so I will click on the generic 16 inch masonry sill here in the project browser go to its type properties and then we'll click on its structure and so right now we're seeing a section view of in the preview you'll need to have this on in order to or edit the vertical structure of this wall so let me put it back on preview if you're in without the preview on or if you've got it set to floor plan you're not going to see uh, these tools become active so that's just something to keep in mind alright now I'm going to adjust the sample height because I'm assuming that your base was at 3 foot 4 let me go ahead and change this to 2 foot 8 basically just adjust it down a course and then what we would typically do is we would add a sweep to this now the sweep I know this because I've checked already is the what you're looking for the particular profile is not available uh, if I click on the load profile button and then browse out to the profiles here in the Revit family library and then go to wall profiles you know, I can kinda just preview these and there's some that are kind of close but not exactly what I'm looking for so what we'll do here is we'll just cancel out of this we'll click OK to save what small changes we've made so far and we're going to create a new profile so I'm going to go to the application menu go to new family and then browse out to the profile RFT and this is this is probably the real easy part I click on that it brings me into the Revit family template it's called family 2 for the moment and then we're just going to draw our profile so let me think about this it's going to be basically one course so I'm thinking seven and five eighths by um, fifteen and five eighths. You know, if we're going to get this right, and hopefully I will. So fifteen point six two five inches that direction, and then the height will be seven and five eighths. Of course, it's not going to look like that, right? Because we want to have that chamfer. So I'm going to go to the create button again, draw another line. And I'll draw one from the midpoint to of this to the midpoint here. And then trim this out. And this may not be perfect. In fact, you probably want this to be 8 inches. But just for the sake, well, let's do this right. Yeah, 7 and 13 sixteenths. You know, you probably want this to be 8 inches. So let's just adjust that. Whatever that needs to be. Or 7 and 5 eighths. <laughs> Whatever it needs to be. Anyway, the point is is that you basically make your profile shape here. You know what that needs to end up being. And then I'll save it. We'll call this family uh, sill. Chamfered sill. All right. And then we'll load it into the project. All right. So now it's just a matter of going back to the type properties of the 16... CMU ba or the uh, the original basic wall type, which is this guy right here, going to its type properties, and in the structure, with the section preview on, going to the sweeps, and then adding that profile, which should be now loaded into my project. Select that family and type. the The material will need to be concrete masonry units, so you'll need to set this here just click on that and then the distance will be 0 foot 0 from the top alright let's hit apply we may need to make an adjustment here and I can see that I'm going to need to let's just kinda of zoom out and see where this is at so it needs to be offset in 
So let's go back to the sweep, and we'll do an offset of one foot, or maybe negative one foot, three and five eighths, and hit apply, and that's sitting on top like it should. I'm gonna click OK here and click OK here. So we've adjusted this basic wall type. This basic wall type is part of the stacked wall. And if we hit OK, it should go ahead and uh, create that profile, that uh, chamfered profile for you.